Hello students, today we shall study about your chapter arithmetic progressions in which we are going to study about the sum of first n terms of an AP. To find the sum of first n terms of an AP, A, A plus D, A plus 2D, the nth term of this AP is A plus n minus 1 into D. Let S denote the sum of first n terms of the AP. We have S is equal to A plus A plus D plus A plus 2D plus so on plus A plus n minus 1 into D. Let us take this equation as first equation. Rewriting the terms in reverse order, we have S is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D plus A plus n minus 2 into D plus so on plus A plus D plus A. Have you seen? We have written in reverse order. Let us take this equation as equation number 2. Now, on adding these equations, we get 2S is equal to 2A plus n minus 1 into D plus 2A plus n minus 1 into D and so on plus 2A plus n minus 1 into D plus 2A plus n minus 1 into D n times. That is 2S is equal to n into 2A plus n minus 1 into D since there are n terms. So, S is equal to n upon 2, 2A plus n minus 1 into D. So, the sum of the first n terms of the AP is given by S is equal to n upon 2 into 2A plus n minus 1 into D. So, we can also write this as S is equal to n upon 2 into A plus A plus n minus 1 into D, which could also be expressed as S is equal to n upon 2 into A plus A n. Let us take this equation as 3. Now, if there are only n terms in an AP, then A n is equal to L, that is last term. From equation 3, we see that S is equal to n upon 2 into A plus L. This form of the result is useful when the first term and the last terms of an AP are given and the common difference is not given. So, let us make use of these and solve some of the questions. Find the sum of the following APs 2, 7, 12 to 10 terms. Here we have what is your first term? It is 2 and how do you find the common difference? Second term minus first term that is equal to 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Sum of n terms of an AP is given by what is the formula? Sn is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. We are substituting the values n is 10 upon 2 into 2 into 2 plus 10 minus 1 into 5, which on simplification gives us 5 into 49 that is 245. I hope you have understood children. Let us go to the next part. Here we have minus 37, minus 33, minus 29 to 12 terms. Here what is your first term? Minus 37 and common difference we take out by subtracting first term from second minus 33 minus of minus 37. This gives us minus 33 plus 37 that is obviously 4. So, sum of n terms of an AP is given by Sn is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, 12 upon 2 multiplied by 2 into minus 37 plus 12 minus 1 into 4, which on simplification gives us 6 into minus 74 plus 44, that is equal to minus 180. Is it clear? Okay. Let us go to the next 0 0.6, 1.7, 2.8 to 100 terms. Here obviously A is 0 0.6 and D is 1.7 minus 0 0.6 that is 1.1. Sum of n terms of an AP is given by Sn is equal to n upon 2 into 2A plus n minus 1 into D. Here on substituting the values we have 100 upon 2 into 2 into 0 0.6 plus 100 minus 1 
multiplied by 1.1 that is equal to 50 into 1.2 plus 99 into 1.1 that gives us 50 into 110.1 on simplification we get 5505 I hope it is clear let us do the next part here 1 upon 15 1 upon 12 1 upon 10 to 11 terms what is the first term 1 upon 15 what is the common difference it is second term minus first term so 1 upon 12 minus 1 upon 15 which gives us 1 upon 60 sum of the n terms of an AP is given by the formula Sn is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so S11 is equal to 11 upon 2 multiplied by 2 into 1 upon 15 plus 11 minus 1 into 1 upon 60 that is equal to 11 upon 2 into 2 upon 15 plus 1 upon 6 that is equal to 11 upon 2 into 9 upon 30 which on simplification gives us 33 upon 20. I hope it is clear. Come on let us do the next one now. Find the sums given below. Here you find it that 7 plus 10 and half plus 14 plus so on plus 84. It is different from the previous question. See here obviously first term is 7. D is again calculated as 10 and half minus 7 that is 20 plus 1 21 upon 2 minus 7 that gives us 7 upon 2. So we know the value of A, we know the value of T. Now I have to first find out N for that I will use last term 84. So that is 84, A N is 84. What is the formula to calculate N? It is A N is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. I will use this and first find out N and then we will calculate S N. Okay, let us see how. We have a plus n minus 1 into d as 84. So, 7 plus n minus 1 into 7 upon 2 is equal to 84. If I take this 7 to other side and subtract, I will get 77. So, n minus 1 into 7 upon 2 is equal to 77. That is n minus 1 is equal to 77 multiplied by 2 upon 7. That gives me 22. So, n minus 1 is 22 or n is equal to 20. 3. Is it clear? Now, I will find S23. The sum of n terms of an AP is given by the formula Sn is equal to n upon 2 A plus L. I can use this formula here. So, 23 upon 2 into 7 plus 84. On simplification, it gives 23 upon 2 into 91. That is equal to 2093 upon 2. That is again equal to 1046 1 upon 2. Is it clear? Let us do the next one. Find the sum 34 plus 32 plus 30 so on till 10. Here A is 34 and D is 32 minus 34 that is equal to minus 2. Let the nth term of the AP be 10. Again we will use nth formula that is a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 10. What is the value of a? 34. We are substituting here. 34 plus n minus 1 into minus 2 is equal to 10. That gives me n minus 1 into minus 2 is equal to 10 minus 34 is minus 24. So, n minus 1 is equal to what is 20, minus 24 upon minus 2? It gives me plus 12. Therefore, n is equal to 13. Is it clear? Now we will use sum of n terms formula Sn is equal to n upon 2 into A plus L. Let us substitute the values 13 upon 2 into 34 plus 10 that is equal to 13 upon 2 into 44. Here you see if I cancel this I will get 13 into 22 that is equal to 286. Isn't it simple? Yes. Okay, let us do the next one. Find the sum minus 5 plus minus 8 plus minus 11 plus so on. Last is minus 230. So, what is A here? It is minus 5 
and how do you calculate the second term minus first term? So minus 8 minus of minus 5. This gives me minus 8 plus 5 that is equal to minus 3. Okay. Let the nth term of the AP be minus 230. So a n is equal to minus 230 we will substitute. We have a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to minus 230. What is the value of a? Minus 5 plus n minus 1 into minus 3 is equal to minus 230. So n minus 1 into minus 3 is equal to minus 230 plus 5 that is equal to minus 225. So n minus 1 is obviously equal to 75 or n is equal to 76. So, after knowing the value of n is equal to 76, we can use some two n terms formula S n is equal to n upon 2 into a plus l. Here, 76 upon 2 into minus 5 minus 230. On simplification, 76 upon 2 into minus 235 is equal to minus 38 into 235 that is equal to minus 8930. I hope you have understood children. Okay. Let us do the next part now. In an AP, we are given A is equal to 5, D is equal to 3 and A n is equal to 50. We are required to find out N and S N. Okay. So, we know the formula for N terms. It is a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 50. What is the value of a? We are substituting the value of a as 5. n minus 1 into d is 3 is equal to 50. So, n minus 1 into 3 is equal to what is 40? Uh, what is 50 minus 5? It is 45. So, n minus 1 is equal to 45 upon 3 is 15. So, n is equal to 16. After calculating the value of n as 16, we can use again sum to n terms formula S n is equal to n upon 2 into a plus l that is equal to 16 upon 2 into 5 plus 50. So, we get 8 into 55 that is obviously equal to 440. Is it clear? Okay. Let us see the next one. Here we are given a is equal to 7, a 13 is equal to 35, find d and S 13. That means I have to find common difference and sum of 13 terms. So, A is 7 and D is to be calculated and A 13 given to us is 35. So, A 13 is 35 means A plus 13 minus 1 into D is equal to 35. So, A is 7, we are substituting the value here 7 plus what is 13 minus 1? 12. So, A is 7, 7 plus 12 D is 35. What is 12 D? 35 minus 7 that is 28. So, value of D can be calculated. It is 28 upon 12 which can be simplified as 7 upon 3. Okay. Now, sum of n terms of the AP is given by S n is equal to n upon 2 into A plus L. So, S 13 is equal to 13 upon 2 into 7 plus 35 that is equal to 42. So, 13 upon 2 into 42 is obviously 13 into 21 that is equal to 273. So, S 13 is 273. I hope it is clear. Okay, let us do the next part. Here D is 3 and A 12 is 37. We are required to find out the first term and sum of 12 terms. All right. So, a 12 is 37 means I can write down in the equation form using nth formula A plus 12 minus 1 into D is equal to 37. So, what is 12 minus 1? 11. So, A plus 11 into 3 is equal to 37. That gives us A is equal to 37 minus 33 that is equal to 4. In this way, we have calculated the first term as 4. Now, Sum of n terms of an AP we know is given by S n is equal to n upon 2 into A plus L. S 12 is equal to 12 upon 2 into 4 plus 37 that is equal to 6 into 41 and on multiplication we get S 12 equal to 200 and 
46. I hope it is clear, Vita. Let us see the next now. Here, A3 is 15, S10 is given as 125. We are supposed to find D and A10. Okay, so common difference and 10th term. So, A3 is 15 means I can write down A plus 3 minus 1 into D as 15. That is A plus D into 2 is equal to 15 or A is equal to 15 minus 2D. Let us take this equation as equation number 1. Now, sum of n terms of an AP is given by S10 is equal to 10 upon 2 into 2A plus 10 minus 1 into D that is equal to 125. So, 10 upon 2 is 5 multiplied by 2A plus 9D is equal to 125. That gives us 2A plus 9D is equal to 25. Now, let us make use of the first equation and we will substitute in this and let us find out the value. Here, 2 into 15 minus 2D plus 9D is equal to 25. Now, if you multiply 2 into 15 is 30 and 2 into 2 is minus 4D here plus 9D is equal to 25. So, 30 plus 5D is equal to 25 gives us 5D is equal to minus 5 or D is equal to minus 1. Putting the value of D in first equation, we get A is equal to 15 minus 2 into minus 1 that is equal to 15 plus 2 that is 17. So, A plus n minus 1 into D is equal to A n we know. So, A 10 is equal to 17 plus 10 minus 1 into minus 1 that is equal to 17 minus 9 that is equal to 8. So, A 10 is equal to 8 and common difference is minus 1. We have calculated both the values. Let us see the next part now. Here, given D is equal to 5, S9 is 75, find A and A9. Here, sum of n terms of an AP is given by Sn is equal to n upon 2 into 2A plus n minus 1 into D. On substituting the values, S9 is equal to 9 upon 2 into 2A plus 9 minus 1 into 5. That is equal to 75 is equal to 9 upon 2 into 2a plus 40. Let us simplify this. 75 is equal to 9a plus 180. That is equal to, we get a is equal to minus 105 by 9, which can be simplified as minus 35 upon 3. Now, using nth formula, a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d we have here a 9 is equal to minus 35 upon 3 plus 9 minus 1 into 5 as minus 35 upon 3 plus 40. That is equal to 85 upon 3. In this way, we have calculated the value of a 9 and we have also calculated the value of a. I hope it is clear. Let us do the next part now. a is given as 2 and d is 8, s n is 90. We are supposed to find n and a n. So, sum of n terms of an AP is given by the formula S n is equal to n upon 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. Here, on substituting 90 is equal to n upon 2 into 2 into 2 plus n minus 1 into 8. Look here, we can write 90 is equal to n upon 2 into 4, 2 to the 4 plus 8n minus 8 that is equal to 90 is equal to n upon 2 8n minus 4 which on simplification gives us a quadratic equation 90 is equal to 4n square minus 2n which can be written as 2n square minus n minus 45 is equal to 0. We have divided the whole equation by 2 to obtain this equation. Now 2n square minus 10 n plus 9 n minus 45 is equal to 0. Splitting of middle term, I have written minus 1 as minus 10 plus 9. Okay. Now, what is common in the first two terms? 2 n is common, we get n minus 5 plus 9 is common in the next two terms. So, 9 into n minus 5 is equal to 0. Thus, we have two factors 2 n plus 9 and n minus 5. Just observe here, Either n minus 5 is equal to 0, that gives us n is equal to 5. 
or we have 2 n is equal to minus 9 n is equal to minus 9 upon 2. This is rejected because we cannot have n as negative. So, a 5 is calculated with the help of nth formula here again a plus n minus 1 into d. On substituting the values 2 plus 5 minus 1 into 8 is equal to 2 plus 32 that is equal to 34. So, a 5 is equal to 34. In this way we have calculated a 5 and also the value of n. I hope it is clear. We will do the next part now. We have a is equal to 3, n is equal to 8 and s is equal to 192. We are required to find out d that is common difference. So, we have the formula sum of n terms of an AP is given by s n is equal to n upon 2 into a plus a n. On substituting the values 192 is equal to 8 upon 2 into 3 plus a n. Okay, so, 192 is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 plus a n, which can be simplified further as 3 plus a n is equal to 192 upon 4 that is equal to 48. So, a n is equal to 48 minus 3 that is 45. In this way, we have calculated a n. Now, formula for a n is a plus n minus 1 into d. So, 45 is equal to 3 plus 8 minus 1 into d or 42 is equal to 7 d. Therefore, value of d is 6. In this way, we have calculated the common difference as 6. Now, let us do the next question. How many terms of the AP 9, 17, 25 must be taken to give a sum of 636? Very important question from examination point of view. Please pay attention. We have A is equal to 9 and D is equal to, how do we calculate D? Second term minus first term. 17 minus 9 is equal to 8. And we are also given SN is equal to 636. Sum of N terms of an AP is given by the formula SN is equal to N upon 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Let us substitute the values. 636 is equal to N upon 2 into 2A. So, 2 into 9 plus n minus 1 into 8. 8 is common difference given to us. Now, 636 is equal to n multiplied by 9 plus 4n minus 4. On simplification, we get a quadratic equation 4n square plus 5n minus 636 is equal to 0. Let us solve this quadratic and find out the value of n. We have 4n square plus 53n minus 48n minus 636 is equal to 0. Now, what is common in these two terms? n is common. So, 4n plus 53. Here, you can observe 12 is common. So, you get 4n plus 53 here also. Thus, two factors are n minus 12 and 4n minus 53 is equal to 0. Just observe here. Either n minus 12 is equal to 0, that means n is equal to 12. For the second factor, 4n plus 53 cannot be equal to 0 because n cannot be equal to minus 53 upon 4. n cannot be negative. Therefore, n has to be positive n is equal to 12. Hence, 12 terms of the AP 9, 17, 25 must be taken to get the sum as 636. I hope you have understood this. So, friends, now it is time to take up homework take up some questions for the assignment. First question, the sum of first 16 terms of the AP 10, 6, 2 is A minus 320, B 320, C minus 352, D minus 400. We have to pick out the correct option. Second, in an AP, if A is equal to 1, AN is equal to 20 and SN is equal to 399, then n is equal to a option 19, b 21, c 38, d 42. Question number 3, the sum of the 4th and 8th term of an AP is 24 and the sum of 6th and 10th term is 44. Find the first 3 terms of the AP. Question number 4, 
find the sum of all multiples of 7 lying between 100 and 1000. Question, next question. The first and the last term of an AP are 6 and 348 respectively. If the common difference is 9, how many terms are there and what is their sum? Question number 6. If ninth term of an AP is 0, prove that its 29th term is double of its 19th term. Now, let us see what we have studied today. Let us summarize. We have seen that sum of the first n terms of an AP is given by S is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Second, we have also looked that if L is the last term of the finite AP, say the nth term, then the sum of all terms of the AP is given by S is equal to n upon 2 into A plus L. So, students, I hope you have understood today's session. Please practice these assignment questions and master them. Thank you.